Here is an explanation for final exam. Question number 69. In Trigonometry Demystified, second edition, page 381. We have two stars, star A and star B. Notice that the, they're transposed from the previous problem. You can pretty much put the previous problem out of your mind here. You may want to watch that video after you're done with this one, but for now, put it out of your mind. This is a whole different situation and portrayal of these situations. Star A is 5.5 times 10 to the 6th astronomical units away from us. Remember, an astronomical unit is the distance between the sun and the earth, the average distance. So this is 5.5 times 10 to the 6th times that distance. Star B is 2.2 times 10 to the 7th astronomical units away from us. Well, when you do the math on your calculator, you're going to find that star B is four times as far away as star A. Just exactly four times as far away, at least <clears throat> within the range of the accuracy of these significant digits. Well, what the trick is here is that we have to realize that these triangles connecting the Earth, the Sun, and the distant stars, or the relatively nearby stars on galactic terms, this is a right triangle, but it's really a great deal more flattened out than this illustration would show. This base is 5.5 million times as long as the height of the triangle. So in true perspective or true uh, proportion, this drawing would just look like one straight line on the, on the beige board, wouldn't tell you anything. So I've stretched it. That means then that this amount of parallax is just about exactly four times that amount. It won't be exactly and perfectly four times, but so close that for all intents and purposes we can consider that this <clears throat> angle, this parallax angle, is going to be four times that one. Because when you take tangents or sines of very, very tiny angles, as we would have to do in order to calculate these distances, in an earlier video I used the tangent function to calculate this distance between the sun and the distant star, either the sine, you can use this distance too, and use the sine of this angle instead. But either way, when you have really tiny, tiny, tiny parallax angles like this, if you double the angle, you double the tangent, you double the sine, they're almost, they vary in almost exact the same proportion. You can go ahead and calculate this if you really want to. You can actually calculate these parallax angles if you feel like it. If you've got a good computer calculator with a lot of digits and you assume that these are exact values, you'll find that the parallax angle of star A measures almost exactly four times the parallax angle of star B. So, the answer to this question is A. It works out that parsecs and angles vary almost in inverse proportion to each other. Not quite exactly, but almost. And for all intents and purposes, uh, at great distances like this, they, they do. But, just a little interesting twist here in the way that astronomers have to deal with this. This is a really, really good real-world application of trigonometry. Even better, than the ones with the bugs that you saw a few questions ago if you've been watching all of these videos. This is even more real than the bugs, I think. 